The Smart Mates option allows you to add any of these standard mates in two different manners by doing an alt drag of one component to another or doing a control drag to add a new component and then if you bring it back to a mateable face since I chose this top face I can make these two coincident or choose any of the other standard mates. Once you have the component added in if you hold down Alt and drag, you'll now notice the paperclip icon for mate next to my mouse. And the way this is supposed to work is that an icon will show up when this is able to mate to one of these other cylinders. In this case, this might be a 2012 SP0 issue where I can't add in the smart mate for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to 2011 to show you what this should look like. So here I have one plate added in. It's already coincident. And so if I hold down Alt, and drag this to that cylinder, you'll notice that it automatically picks up that relation and adds the mate. Then I can switch this mate once again or click OK. And I can Alt drag once again and select that face and make these coincident. You can also do multiple mates at once if you do the right selection. So if I select out this edge and hold down Alt and bring it to this edge, you'll notice the coincident and concentric relations are going to get added. And then once again, I can alt drag and mate to that side face. And you'll notice there are some things that won't pick up. So it's not going to necessarily pick up the parallel relation on the sides if we wanted to add that in. But that's how you use the Smart Mates tool uh, in both 2011 and 2012. It should display in that manner in 2012 as well. This is, I'm guessing, just an issue with SP0 or an issue with my installation of 2012. But that's how you use SmartMates.